Welcome to this video on linear law. For information in SPM, linear law comes in paper 1 as well as paper 2, section B. So this is one of the easiest questions in paper 2, section B. Therefore, make sure you know how to do it. So what is actually linear law? Basically, if you have a set of two variables which are related non-linearly, and this can be converted to a linear equation. So what is a non-linear equation? So for example, if you have y equal to 2 over x plus x, this is one example of non-linear equations. This non-linear equation can be transformed to a linear equation in terms of big Y equal to M big X plus C, where your X and Y are in terms of X and Y or X or Y. What does it mean? Your x can be x, y, your y can be 1 over y, or your x can be log x, and so on. So the big x and big y must be in terms of x and y. m is a gradient, and c is the y-intercept. So remember your gradient m and c only take the constant. m can be 2, c can be 1 over a, they'll be in terms of constant. So for example, if I want to change this to a linear law, so now you can see here, we cannot put this at y equal to mx plus c because your c must be a constant. So what you can you do here is to multiply every term here with x. So you have xy equal to 2 over x multiplied with x plus x squared. So you have xy equal to, here you have x squared, 2 over x multiplied with x, you have plus 2. Now this is in the linear form, where your y is in terms of x, y. Your gradient m is an uh, invisible one here, so your gradient equal to 1, which is a constant. Your big x equal to x squared, is in terms of x and y. And your y-intercept c equal to 2. This is an example how you can convert a non-linear equation, in this case y equal to 2 over x plus x, into a linear equation in terms of y equal to mx plus c. Now I'm going to show you how to convert non-linear equation to a linear equation. So this is the basic in linear law. Make sure you know how to do it. So one of the important rules to follow is that when you want to convert it to a linear equation in terms of big Y equal to M big X plus C, as I told you, your X and Y can be in terms of any unknown X and Y. So for example, your big X can be X, your big X can be X squared, your big Y can be 1 over Y, but your big X and big Y do not have any constants. In contrast, your gradient as C can only have the constant. So your gradient M can be A, your C can be 1 over P, and so on. But M and C cannot have any unknown attached to it. So you cannot have M equal to X, M equal to 1 over X. So remember, the basic rule is the big X and big Y only have an unknown X and Y. Your gradient M and C only has constant, no unknown x and y. Now I'm going to show you the first example. That is, if I have y equal to px squared plus qx, this is a non-linear equation. Now to convert to a linear equation. So one of the methods I can use is to divide every term here with x. So you will have y over x equal to px plus Q. Now this is in the form of y equal to m x plus c, where your y equal to y over x, your gradient equal to p, your big x equal to your small x, and your c equal to q. So you can see a big x, big y only have unknown x and y, and your gradient m and c only have constant, in this case p and q. So you can see here for this equation, y equal to px squared plus q over x. You can also change it to a linear form by dy every term with x squared. 
Now you have y over x squared equal to p x squared divided x squared. You have p plus q over x. Rearrange it. You have y over x squared equal to q. Q over x you can write as q multiplied with one over x plus q. So now you can see this is in term of y equal to m x plus c. Where your big Y equal to Y over X square, your big X equal to 1 over X. Your gradient M equal to Q and your P group C. Now move to the second example. If you have Y equal to PX plus Q over X. One way to convert this is to multiply each term here with X. So you have xy equal to px multiply with x, you have px squared, q over x multiply with x, you only have q. Now this is in the form of y equal to m x plus c, where your big y equal to xy, your gradient equal to p, your big x equal to x squared, and your c equal to q. So for this example, you can also convert to a linear form by dividing every term here by x. So you have y over x, px over x, and q over x divided by x will be something like that. Therefore, you have y over x equal to p plus q over x squared. Rearrange it, you have y over x equal to q multiplied with 1 over x squared plus p. So again, this is in the form of y equal to m x plus c when your big y equal to y over x, your gradient m equal to q, and your big x equal to 1 over x squared, and your p equal to c. Now look at the third example. If you have y equal to p square root x plus q over square root x. So one of the method to change to linear form, you can multiply every term with square root x. So you have square root x y equal to, remember square root x multiply with square root x, you will have x. Therefore, p square root x multiply with square root x, you have px. And q over square root x multiply with square root x, you will cancel off the square root x, you have q. Now this is in the form of y equal to m x plus c, where your y equal to square root x y, gradient m equal to p, your big x equal to x, and the c equal to q. For this question, y equal to p square root x plus q over square root x, you can also change the linear form by dividing every term here with square root x. q over square root divided by square root x is the same as multiplied by 1 over square root x. Now you have y over square root x equal to p, square root x here cancel off, plus q over square root x multiply with square root x, you will have x. Rearrange it, you have y over square root x equal to q multiply with 1 over x plus p. So this is in the form of y equal to mx plus c. Your big y is y over square root x. Your x is 1 over x, your gradient m equal to q, and the c is equal to p. So you can look here for all the examples I've just presented. The big y and big x always in terms of unknown x and y. So you can see here you have big y equal to xy, your big x equal to x square, your big y here is square root xy, and your big x equal to x. So big y and big x do not have any constant attached to it. So in contrast, your gradient m and c only has constant, no unknown. So look at here, gradient m equal to p. Here is c equal to q. Your gradient m here equal to q and c equal to p. So you see, m and c only can have constant.